Another member of the sub $200 smartwatch club is the Huawei GT2e. Once again, a Huawei smartwatch with a relatively budget price tag allows you to enjoy top class display specs, long battery life, certified sleep tracking, relaxation and stress monitoring, even brings along SPO2 tracking and offers 100 sport modes. If you are new to Wesno's tech news and reviews, we talk about the latest tech news. We do brutally honest reviews and share hacks and tricks along the way. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you don't miss out. The GT2e only brings minor changes from the 2019 Huawei GT2. However, it's a full physical redesign from the original GT2 with a much more sporty look. At Wesnose, we are quite fond of Huawei and honor multifunction watches. Firstly, we appreciate that Huawei packs a lot of certified and high-tech functionalities into their watches and doesn't charge the world for these. Most of their watches are sub £200 or $200 and the feature list usually packs a punch. We got the GT2e just a day ago and we are so excited about it that we want to share our initial impressions with you. Hence, we'll dive in with 12 key functions and features of this smartwatch that you ought to know about. A sporty and functional design overall, the GT2e comes with a stainless steel case. There's just one dial size of 46 millimeters. The buttons are still laid out the same at two and four o'clock as we saw in the Honor Magic Watch 2 and the Huawei GT2. Also note that the lugs have been smoothed out for a more solid appearance that separates it from its other siblings. Although it is positioned as unisex, the case is on the larger side. My wrist is medium size and the GT2e looks significantly larger on it than say on a Magic Watch 2, the 42mm one. But the smoothed out lugs taper down and hug the watch to the wrist comfortably. Another interesting feature is that the watch case sits just under 11 millimeters on your wrist, so it's still very much slim. The weight is 43 grams without the straps though. Just like its predecessor, the GT2e has a 1.39 inch screen with a 454 by 454 AMOLED display that's so quick and so responsive. It feels just as bright and vibrant as the Honor Magic Watch 2. It's nicely detailed with text and stats easily readable in direct sunlight, mid exercises or in most other environments. The blacks are very deep, the detail on the watch face is spectacular and as you can see there's no issues with reading values on the screen outdoors. You can dig into the settings and find the brightness options. There are five brightness levels plus an auto brightness setting as well. There are 12 preset faces available on the watch and if you're using an Android phone you can download a myriad of faces available via the Huawei Health app. Many of the watch faces allow for customizing the data and information you see such as heart rate, steps, weather, battery status and so forth. You'll also be happy to know that you can set a different always on standby watch face and there are currently four to choose from. For the sporting minded individuals, there are 15 goal based fitness profiles that track indoor and outdoor sports and activities like running, walking, hiking, trail runs, cycling, open water swimming and even triathlons. Triathlon mode is a key feature that is extra nice since usually this feature is only available on dedicated sport watches. In fact, you also get VO2 max data, but it gets better. Honor expanded the original 15 sport modes with 85 new entries, bringing the total number of activities tracked to 100. Whether you are new to running or an experienced runner, the built-in dedicated running courses app with real-time voiceover guidance can help improve your endurance with 13 different running courses. The 13 running courses take you through particular workouts of varying intensities, guiding you through warm-up time, running and cooling down. The routes available have Bluetooth voiceovers and haptic vibrations that help you keep on track. These act as a personal trainer of sorts, where the GT2e guides you through intervals and prompts you when your heart rate shows that you aren't working hard enough. Blood oxygen saturation, or SpO2, is one of the important vital signs that can reflect oxygen supply of the body. In fact, very low levels of SpO2 can result in serious symptoms like lack of energy, fatigue and lightheadedness. The SpO2 monitor provides on-demand measurement of the oxygen saturation level in your blood. 
the watch is 5 ATM water resistant. Essentially, devices complying with the 5 ATM have a water resistance rating of 50 meters, meaning that they may be used for relatively shallow water activities like swimming in a pool or ocean. However, they should not be used for scuba diving, water skiing or other activities involving high velocity water. The GT2E is water resistant up to 50 meters. So set up the pool length, choose a goal such as time, calories or number of laps and dive in. It can track your swarf, distance, calories and speed. To top it off, the all new Huawei True Scene technology allows you to measure your heart rate while swimming. It doesn't end there. Because GT2E sports inbuilt GPS, you can do open water swims as well. The GT2E allows you to manage everyday stress level with Huawei True Relax, calming your mind through a series of breathing exercises within the breathing app. The GT2E helps you understand your sleep patterns better by using Huawei True Sleep technology, which is actually certified by the Harvard Medical School. This tech provides you with details on light and deep sleep, REM, and even supplies personalized insights on how to get a better night's sleep. Huawei says the watch will last 14 days, considering a few caveats. It has to be worn 24 hours a day, with heart rate monitoring enabled, Huawei True Sleep enabled, 90 minutes of working out every week, so GPS is enabled, message notifications enabled, and it's expecting 50 texts, 3 alarms a day, the screen is turned on 200 times a day, and only 30 minutes music playback during the week. These caveats are quite restrictive. I think that in normal use, you'll be able to push out seven to eight days out of the watch, which is excellent anyway. The watch has 4 GB in-house storage and 2.3 GB allocated to offline music storage. Hence, you don't need a phone with you to keep you entertained on the runs, cycling or hiking trips. Just under 2 GB is used by OS and other system files. And considering a song is approximately 6 to 8 megabytes, you should be able to upload over 300 songs to your on-risk training partner. As we have mentioned earlier, the watch has inbuilt GPS. It includes a dual satellite positioning system, both GPS and GLONASS. Why is inbuilt GPS so important? Well, essentially, you don't need to take your phone with you on the runs or trails. Additionally, it has an altimeter. So when out for a run, walk or cycling adventure, your positioning should be much more accurate and precise on the GT2e. Well, who's it for? The Huawei GT2e is a decent smartwatch for people who are into fitness, but it's particularly useful and insightful for those who want to track a range of exercises. Also, if you're just turning towards a fitter lifestyle, you will enjoy an Andres personal trainer for your runs. For the keen athletes, GT2e also provides data like VO2 max, aerobic and anaerobic effects, training intensity, training load, in addition to recovery time stats. Similar stats would only be given to you on a dedicated sport watch, like Garmin or Polar. So having these on a smartwatch really does kill more than one bird with one stone. Another point to mention is that if you, like myself, don't want to have to charge up your device daily or every two days, as you do for most smartwatches out there, you will love the GT2e, with its relatively long battery life. If you have enjoyed watching our video review, please push the subscribe button below the video and Keep watching us for more honest reviews.